video we're going to be making a really great do ahead dish so it's um just bake a simple sausage supper so we're just going to bake sausages and veg um and just pop them in the oven until they're till they're they're cooked and then dinner's ready so super simple so we'll jump into the kitchen and i'll show you how to make it it's got some i'm using macadamia oil but you know olive oil whatever you normally roast in is good good, good drizzle in the base of our pan and then I've got um, three small red onions that I've just chopped into quarters and I've just left the, the roots on so that they'll stay uh, together kind of thing. But um, if you're using larger red onions, you may only, onions, you may only want you know, two of them and you, you may want to chop them into eighths or sixths. You know, it just depends on how you feel. So just half a butternut pumpkin, quite a large one. And so I'm just going to trim off the top and the base. And then I'll just chop it in half crosswise. And then we just want to chop it into wedges. So half, half down the middle. And then yeah, it's up to you. You can either do three or four. I think I'll just do three. Then for the, you can, it's up to you. You can either scoop out the seeds if you like, but I tend to just leave them on because um, they roast up really nicely and you get these lovely kind of crispy pumpkin seeds. So they add just you know a bit of texture of nuttiness, but you know it really depends on what you like. So, so just chop that into wedges as well. In, in the pan, yeah, I'm using some good Irish pork sausages, but really you know, whatever sausages you love are going to work really well here. So we'll just sprinkle the scatter the sausages over the top. Then we'll give it a good drizzle of olive oil or macadamia oil, whatever oil you're using. And I'm going to sprinkle over some uh, some chili chili flakes, but you could use chili powder, or if you wanted to use some herbs, you could use some rosemary or thyme, just something to give it a bit of extra flavour. I'm going to have a little bit of warmth with mine. It's up to you, and they look pretty as well. <laughs> And then just a bit of salt and pepper and we'll pop it in the oven and we'll check it after about half an hour. Okay, so everything's been in for about half an hour and the onions are starting to look lovely and cook down. So it's a good idea just to, and the pumpkin's starting to feel soft but it hasn't started to brown yet. So good idea just to give everything a stir, particularly stuff that's in the corners because it'll be cooking more quickly. And sausage is starting to brown and look lovely, which is great. So making sure everything, nothing's sticking. So just give everything a turn and especially turn your sausages and then just back in the oven for another, I'll probably leave it for another hour, uh, another half an hour. Magic sausage supper has been in the oven for an hour now you see the onions are all lovely and cooked down and the pumpkin looks super tender and golden um, and the sausages are really brown so that's looking lovely and done for me. So I'm just going to sprinkle over some flat leaf parsley and give it a good dose of salt and pepper and dinner is ready.